guys, look at my shirt. It says, nursing is a walk in the park. Jurassic Park. It really feels that way, doesn't it? It feels like you're going through Jurassic Park and your number one goal is to survive. Hi, hello, I'm Ashley. I will link this uh, t-shirt down below in the description box I found on Etsy. It's super cute, it's really comfy, and it's like perfect for nursing school. So in this video, I wanted to give you five tips to help you pass nursing school. I know you're busy, I know you're stressed, I know you have a lot going on, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this. Tip number one is you are gonna see a lot of videos throughout nursing school where they tell you that typical memorization techniques are not gonna work. And I'm here to tell you that for certain areas, they can. So for example, if you need to remember the normal lab values, to me, that's, a, that's just memorization. That's just remembering those normals, right? So don't be afraid of memorization techniques throughout nursing school because it can help you. Now, more importantly is that you have to understand the concepts. You need to be able to understand them and you need to be able to apply them. You might be wondering, how in the heck do I do that, right? How, like, what do you mean by understanding and being able to apply these things? There's actually one question that you can ask yourself that's going to help you understand the concepts that you're learning in nursing school. And that question is super tiny, but it's super powerful. And that is why? I Like, I literally want you to get a pack of sticky notes. I want you to write why on every single one of them. And I want you to stick them everywhere. Stick them on your planner, on your books, in your notebooks, on your mirror in your bathroom, on your fridge, in your car, on your coffee pot, because I know you're at your coffee pot like 17 times a day, so you will see it. You wanna see this everywhere because you wanna get into the habit of asking yourself why. So when you're sitting down and you're studying, let's say you're taking your notes and you're listing out interventions, I want you to get into the habit of saying, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this, this specific intervention? Why is this my priority? Why is the patient having these signs and symptoms? Why are these lab values elevated and these ones are decreased? Or um, why are they having these side effects? Do you see what I mean? When you start to understand why things are happening, that's gonna help you understand the concepts in nursing school, which is gonna help you understand how to apply it. So that one little question can make a huge difference. You just have to get into the habit of doing it because like throughout high school and stuff, you're not taught that. We're not taught different study methods. It's strictly like memorization and repetition, which like I said, can work for you through nursing school. There's certain things that you can just memorize, but for a lot of it, most of it, um, you need to understand it and asking why can help you do that. Now, tip number two is to use traditional study methods along with modern study methods. So I actually talked about traditional study methods already. That's the memorization and repetition concepts, but modern study methods, what the heck are those, right? Like, what is that? That is, um, well, it can be a lot of things. There's a lot of different modern study techniques. So there is mind mapping, there's practice questions. You can actually create your own practice questions. And this is really helpful. So for you to be able to come up with questions over the content that you're studying, you have to be able to understand it, right? So coming up with your own practice questions is a great way to study. There's also a retrieval practice and teaching someone else. That's actually one of my favorite things to do. I used to do this all the time in nursing school. I would um, teach concepts to my spouse. I would teach stuff to my family. And then when my husband wasn't home and um, you know family was getting sick of me trying to teach them stuff, I actually pretended like I was a teacher. So I used to set a whiteboard up right over here and I pretended like I had students, you know, these little invisible students. It's like back in elementary school, like used to play school. That's kind of what I did. And it, I mean, it sounds crazy, but it really helped me tremendously because I have, you have to be able to break concepts down in order to be able to teach someone else. And I know you got invisible students, so you know maybe your students understand everything, I don't know. Mine didn't, mine didn't have a clue. So I had to break things down for them a lot, but I really love um, that method of learning. So honestly, my tip here, there are so many different ways, so many different ways to study. Actually, I have a resource link down below for you that has some modern study techniques for you. But my tip here is get creative. Do whatever you have to do to help you study. Maybe you can record yourself going over the lectures and while you're cleaning, while you're driving, while you're doing you know, those mundane tasks, you can be listening to those audios on repeat. You can, like I said, make mind maps, you can draw pictures, you can watch videos. There's so many different ways to help you learn and understand different concepts. So just tap into those, don't be afraid to use them. Try different things, see what works for you and what doesn't, and then stick 
with what is working. Maybe I should actually do a video on modern study techniques and give you guys some, um, some of my favorites that I use throughout nursing school. If that's something that you'd be interested in, let me know down in the comment section and I'll be happy to make that video for you. Number three is to know your priorities. And throughout nursing school, you're gonna hear a lot about your ABCs, airway, breathing, circulation. Let's really quickly talk about the difference between airway and breathing. And the easiest way that I know to explain this is let's say you have two children. One child sucks a quarter down their throat and it's lodged like perfectly right there. They are not breathing at all. There is no oxygen going in, right? And then you have another child who is in distress. They're breathing, but they're not breathing the way we want them to, right? And breathing is the gas exchange that's actually happening in the lungs when airway is not. Airway is the, it's going in and out. So if you have those two patients, one who's not breathing at all and one who's simply in distress, I say simply, it's not simply, it's still a problem. But when we look at these two scenarios, who are you going to help first? You're going to help the kid who has that quarter stuck in their throat, right? Because they're not breathing at all. So that's the difference between airway and breathing. And that's, that's the one way that I... Um, kind of explained it to myself again in layman's terms so I could understand the difference between airway and breathing. So that's those two things. But throughout nursing school, you're going to hear a lot about your ABCs. Now, I watched a video from um, NRSNG. Great video. I love, I actually love NRSNG. Definitely check them out. I will link the video that I learned this from down below in the description box. So go watch it. But they actually have this like staircase that they build onto your ABCs. And it's ABCs. D E F. And what this stands for is airway, breathing, circulation, safety, discomfort, education, and feelings. This little mnemonic is going to help you know your priorities, right? So what's the first thing you need to do? What's the second thing? What's the, like, what's the most important thing? And that's a big concept throughout nursing school is knowing what is it that you need to do first what comes second, what comes, you know, so on and so forth. So this is a great little mnemonic to help you do that. And I actually encourage you to watch their video because he gives you a couple of different examples in there. But remember this mnemonic, write it down. Don't just know the ABCs, but add this S D E F to it. And that's going to help you know your priorities. Tip number four is to use mnemonics. I honestly, this is one of those things that I wish I would have done more of mnemonics when I did use them really, really helped me. I honestly, you get so caught up and so overwhelmed and so stressed out that you just forget to look for mnemonics, you know, or you forget to do this or to do that in different study techniques. So um, utilizing mnemonics can help you tremendously. If you want on those sticky notes that you wrote Y on underneath of that, just write find mnemonics. Now, my tip with this is do not get on Google and just search nursing school mnemonics because what's going to happen is there's going to be hundreds of options and it's going to get really overwhelming and it's gonna be hard to find mnemonics specific to what you're looking for. So when you're researching mnemonics, I want you to be specific. If you're looking for mnemonics for psych meds, type that in, psych medication mnemonics. If you're looking for mnemonics for pediatrics, type those in, if it's for cardiology, so on and so forth. Get specific with your search. What also happens whenever you're looking at all of those, you're like, that's a great mnemonic. I'm gonna save that and come back to it later you know you're not going to go back to it later. You're going to completely forget about it. So don't stress yourself out. Don't waste your time that way. Get very specific in the mnemonics that you're looking for. And if you can't find one that someone else has created, create your own. Don't be afraid to create your own mnemonics. I usually just liked using some that other people had made because it was faster. Um, but there were some times that me and my clinical group, we had come up with a few different <laughs> hilarious mnemonics for um, some different medications that we were studying. It had to do with horses and all kinds of stuff. But anyways, if you have to come up with your own mnemonics, they can really help you understand things, remember things throughout nursing school. Tip number five is to block schedule. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one was a game changer for me. Unfortunately, I didn't learn about block scheduling until I was in my fourth semester, I do believe. I wish I would have learned about it sooner, but that's okay. Um, block scheduling is just a way of planning out your day. And I'm actually going to link to a couple of different videos on block scheduling down below in the description box. But basically what this is, is planning out your day in blocks of time. So like two to three hour blocks versus trying to plan your day out an hourly or trying to spend, like have these very long to-do lists where you're trying to just constantly catch up. I'm telling you, whenever you start to implement block scheduling, it's going to increase your productivity. No joke, like I'm not kidding. If you actually follow it like you can you can block schedule and you can plan your day out all you want but if you're not following it it doesn't really matter right so 
block scheduling, if you do it, is going to help increase your productivity. Actually, um, up until my fourth semester, we lived out of laundry baskets, right? So I could get the, the clothes washed and dried, but I never got them put away. We was constantly just getting like wrinkled up clothes out of the laundry basket, which was fine. That wasn't my priority. I wasn't really worried about it. But when I started block scheduling, I actually got the laundry put away, you guys. And that felt like a huge accomplishment because to me, having laundry baskets, having clothes in my laundry basket was like driving me insane because I was constantly like, man, I need to get those clothes put away. I need to get the dishes done. I haven't mopped in six months. Like, you know, that that's like stressors. But when you block schedule, you can actually build in time a couple of days a week or maybe even just a couple of hours a day to help clean up your house or to do those other tasks that you've just been putting off. And also to help you plan your day out effectively for studying, for getting care plans done, for working on projects and different things like that. So I 1000% recommend that you truly dive into block scheduling. Look it up. Actually, like I said, I'll have videos down below so you don't need to look it up, but I have some videos down below that's gonna help you understand it. But dive into it, understand what block scheduling is, and then figure out a way to implement it into your day because it is a complete game changer. That's all I can say about it is that it's going to, it's just going to help you so much. <laughs> That's really all that I can say. So those are my five tips to help you pass nursing school. Look, I know it's stressful. I know it's overwhelming. I know that there are times where you start to question why you even decided to do this or you want to give up or you feel like you're not making progress. Um, and it's just a lot. It's overwhelming. I've been there. I know how you feel. So I understand completely what you're going through, but just hang in there. You can always message me. Always, always, always. I always tell people this. I, um, you can come to Instagram and you can DM me. You can comment down below any of my videos. If you have questions, if you're struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you. I know it's stressful. Um, especially like I said, when you're a mom, you got a house to take care of, family to feed, kids is homework and your own stuff like it's a lot and plus if you're working on top of that like holy cow it's a lot to keep up with so if you're struggling and even if you just need to vent if you're like i just need someone to talk to come on over come on over no judgment zone like i'm not here to judge you i am here to help you though and i want to see you succeed and i want to see you get through nursing school so if you do need help please don't hesitate to reach out seriously i am here Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.